Well, hello there. I am Nefera Jordal, and I will be your host in solving some chess puzzles. Hopefully you will learn something, and otherwise enjoy your stay. Perhaps both, if that is even possible. Would be hard to grasp, I admit, but perhaps it's nonetheless within the realm of possibilities. Now while I pointlessly jibber jabber on about absolute nonsense, I am already looking at moves, because my superhuman mind is able to do two things at once, believe it or not. I'm thinking about taking with the knight, and then when he captures with his knight, I am thinking of throwing him one of these. Didn't expect that, did you? Alright, well anyway. When he throws out one of those, uh, I can just capture, I presume. But then the question is, do I have a follow-up? And to that the answer is sadly no. That concludes my analysis of night takes. Conclusion is that I don't see the fucking point, and therefore I will try to play another move. Too many defenders is the problem. No way to peel those defenders off of this guy, as we would say in League of Legends. But this is chess, so I guess I should have described it differently. Continuing. I could throw him one of those. It does absolutely nothing. I really don't understand the point of this puzzle, and I am starting to doubt in my ability to solve it. In times like these, your determination and patience are being put to the test. I've been trying to do a recording of this for the last 15 minutes, and I still haven't solved this puzzle. You can imagine that my self-esteem by now has dropped well below what should be humanly possible. But I will continue and get over this rough patch and show you all that no, I'm not as terrible as you say. No, I swear. I'm not boosted. No, no, I didn't buy my account. I did those puzzles myself, I promise. I will prove all of those guys wrong. I still don't understand, I'm starting to think, if I take here, and then check him here. Just excuse me there. What can I do? I don't see any continuation, but I also don't see any alternatives. Now you can go with one of the two, but both is a rather daunting Conclusion, I guess I should call it. I don't see any other targets. The rook cannot be attacked because his knight is in the way. I'm not gonna throw my queen at it because my mother did not, I swear, did not drop me on my head as a baby. I promise. Or at least she promises. I should say. I have inquired multiple times, but she insisted. No, I did not drop you as a baby. That is just what you are, by nature. I, I didn't do that to you. That's just God doing his little thing. Quoting verbatim here. But anyway, I cannot see for the life of me how to solve this. I will just make a move and see what's up. 97. It would have taken me aeons, and then probably some more, in order to figure that one out. Because it seems to do absolutely fucking nothing, and I would not have considered that a candidate move. Now apparently, this puts the queen into trouble. He doesn't have any form of escape. It's a silent move for 1700 elo points. A simple trapped piece is the only way. I simply needed access to the square and should have realized 
he cannot solve his problems in one move. That is quite amazing. This pawn has no defense. So therefore it can just be captured. So therefore is what in Dutch they call a pleonasm. I'm pretty sure that's also what it's called in English. Otherwise beg me pardon. Also if he moves the pawn, I could have captured the rook. Haha. -ha. My apologies. It seems as though my ability to solve chess puzzles or my lack thereof has been exposed. So I will simply continue and try to prove to the haters that yes, yes I can play. No, no, I did not buy my account. Please stop bullying me. No, no, I did not, I swear. Alright, why to move? What shall I do? Looking troublesome here if it weren't for this knight. Wonder if that's a hint. Again, I fail to see the point. I'm starting to think of another silent move here. Something like knight g6 setting up the rook h8 checkmate. The question being, in one move, can he defend against that? If the answer is no, I will walk home victorious. And he will have to simply live with the fact that he's number two. Not a bad spot, although you literally could not be off worse in a single game of chess, but then again, that's why we play this sport. We're afraid of becoming 103rd, so we play a game of chess, and all you can suffer is a mere second place loss. That is not too bad. So thinking I should take the bishop instead of going for any of these, you know, fancy smancy combinations, as you call them. I don't want to get checkmated here. And I think the way not to get checkmated is simply to take this piece. Now you don't always have to get a sneaky little combination in. Sometimes it's as simple as taking the right piece at the right time. Unsound sacrifice, this one is called, and quite right so. Alright, I am starting to have a bloody fucking headache. It really hurts to have eye light coming in from one direction like this. Therefore, I will now stop the recording and perhaps continue it when I'm feeling better. Now, I forgot for a second that you can see me opening OBS. So, with that being said, please excuse me, as I am a fucking idiot. Now, if you enjoyed this content, perhaps consider leaving it a like. Perhaps even throw me a sub, and when I look at that in my analytics, I go, Hooray, I can torture myself into doing another one of these videos and gain even more subscribers. Wouldn't that be nice? Or, if you feel like giving me some suggestions, you can leave a comment, and I will certainly read them, as I can promise you, I do not have the viewership where I have to pick and choose. Sounds good, right? Alright, now go right up that comment, and I, in the meanwhile, will be making more of these. See you guys in the next one.